And that is why it's important. Then the, the sermon of the priest this morning, the readings in the gospel, were just appropriate for what we are doing here today. Just as in the, in the readings, the one I read from Samuel, you know, God said, I'll build a house for you for the people of Israel. And then in the gospel, we talk about, you know, the angel coming to that house for the Mary, right? Christmas season, we prepare for it because people come. And on the first Christmas day, people from all over the world went to Jerusalem, Nazareth, for the census, and that's where we witnessed the birth of Christ. You know, today, a lot of us came from different places. They from Chicago, the Dikalosi, Edgy from somewhere in the Middle East, uh, he came from New York, uh, Maria came, come, came from New Jersey, uh, Tedet is a part of Singapore, uh, Tedet of course is from uh, Chicago, Tita Tita and Tito Carmelo from California, Maria is from New Jersey, and Angela is from Washington, D.C., Virginia. Who else did I miss? Did I say it right? Oh, a big thing, okay, sorry about it, okay. So as you can see, we all came here like to celebrate the first oh. Christmas, no? It is really beautiful. It is just the right time for us. Just as Christ was born, when the time has come. He was not born a year earlier, a year later, but just the right moment. The same thing here, okay? So, we are talking about the house that Marcus and Mercedes built. Okay? The house that Marcus and Mercedes built. And this house was built on what they call the seven pillars of Mama and Papa's values in life that they shared and taught to us and handed over to us. And you know what is the legacy? You know what are the seven pillars of the Padron clan? Well, P, P of Padron stands for Pagidi at Pamama. It is love, it is patience, it is forgiveness. You know, magandang share the letter to you. Ang magmahal. Magkatawaran ko tayo ng kakasal sa A stands for what I really admire also in my mama. Meron silang abilidad sa buhay. Abilidad sa buhay. We didn't have much when we were growing up. Our parents worked very hard, but they knew how to make ends meet. They worked very hard. I remember Mama doing catering, and we would be helping. I remember Mama driving into the hospital. And Papa, your law, your law, worked as a private security on site to augment his income. Because we were not only 10, we were 13 that he was raising, you know, I remember my two cousins, uh, Elizabeth and Tony, and then don't forget, you know, 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 so you know, they, uh, they test out right away, huh? Mana tata niyo kayo? Kuala ko sa mga B, kuala ko sa mga A, huh? D, D stands for dreaming and daring to be great. To be Mark Sandoval, to be entrepreneurial. Okay, you have to have goals in life. Na importante, it will make a difference in the life of the people from you. Papa, Papa was not a Manileño, he came from Antique. Okay, he was the first OFW from Antique to Manila. Alright? And I think we got that part from him. When he came to Manila, he was very young, I, I remember correctly, I think he was 17 years old, with no relatives, no friends. He came here to build a better life and found it also in the company of Mario. So he dared to dream, and his dream came true. So that is what is important. Lang kayo mga kabataan, dream. 
dare to be great. Huwag kayong magdala kung kulang sa ano, you work hard, magagawa siya lang siya. E, what is E? E stands for education. Kasi the, the greatest value laging i-emphasize ng mga papa is education. Kaya lagi, pinagalat mo yung matapos ng college. And we all did. We worked very hard. And they, Papa is very demanding about schooling. Kaya takot kami magano, magagawa siya. Hindi ba yung magagawa siya ng takot, magagalit ng tao. Okay? So, education is very important. We then, kami lahat kami na magagalit sa patron, yun ang aming puhunan sa buhay. Education. That's all I have. And that's all that I will be asking. And I was able to do something with my life. And do something with it. So for you, mga kapataan, walang takwacha, walang wrap up, okay? Finish your goals, your education goals, at saka, at saka, mag-aaral siya. Taposin mo na. Doon kayo makakatulong sa inyo mga mga R, what does this stand for? What I remember from my father and my mother is how they love each other. How they respect each other. Incredible. I hope you're not happy to tell you some of the papa in you. I say, I don't know what you're trying. Very much to say that I hear what the other in the Fernanda of Mama Ahan and Pagata. We not so much, but they have the other thing that they have children. You know? I have never met in my life, and I'm old now, and I've met a lot of people that went to many places. I have never met a better man, a greater man. Thank you very much. O. O stands for what? It stands for oneness. Makakaisa. Unity. Unity. Kaya maganda ito as we all come together as one family coming all the way from the house of Mercedes and Marcos. Living Jesus came from the house of David and the house of the present mother. Important yan, huwag niyong pababayaan na magkasira-sira tayo. When I was growing up, alam mo kung sino tinitingin lahat ng mga kamag-anak natin, whether it was the San Juan or the other sides, ang pangila ng mga kapag-anak. Kasi buong buong kami. At saka ang pag-galang nila sa papa. Pag may mga problema, they would papa. With his calm voice, but very sure uh, decision making. Managing. Managing. And then, of course, the last letter is N. No? What does N stand for? Easy, very easy to remember. I remember what the children would ask you. What are your parents like? You know? Mama and Papa. And I tried to capture all of that in one simple word nice. They just are nice people. The nicest people you will ever meet in your life. Mama, your lover, will never say a bad word about anybody. That's what I remember about her. If she has nothing good to say, she just doesn't speak. But if she has to say something good, she will tell you that. And Papa is just incredible. They are the nicest people that I wish that you have met in your lifetime. But maybe, we will be some kind of a proxy for them. That in us, you will be able to taste the niceness of them. So remember, these are the seven pillars that my mom and father passed on to us, to me personally. And it is very important that I share this with you because you are the next generation and you would like to know what it is that we are handing over to you. What is the legacy of Marcus and Mercedes? The answer is in the word Paderon. And in Paderon, the letter P, which stands for what? Pagmamahal. Pagmamahal. A stands for what? Letter D, you know? D. E means what? Education. And R means what? Respect. And O? All ones. And N? That's nice. Thank you.